Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be discussing and reviewing the best portable grills of 2022. The Weber Q1200 is our go-to for efficiently and effectively cooking meals while on the go. This tabletop powerhouse roars to life by pressing the reliable electric starter and quickly preheats thanks to a heavy-duty construction, both in porcelain enamel cast iron cooking grates and the cast aluminum body. An easy-to-read integrated thermometer helps you accurately track temperature and fold-out side tables offer plenty of space for your barbecue tools, while its weight and lack of latching lid makes it less than ideal for carrying into remote picnic sites. The Weber Q1200 is the ideal companion for road tripping and car camping. While portable grills function to cook food but lack the finesse needed for grilling more than hot dogs and burgers, this one brings power and control to this category better than the competition. Unequivocally, the Weber Q1200 is a fantastic portable grill, taking the top spot as our favorite. Ease of use and cooking performance are supported by durability, making it a reliable option for even the longest of road trips. Even though its weight may keep you from carrying it into more remote locations, that job is best left to backpacking stoves anyway. The Coleman Road Trip Grill is essentially an upgrade model of the Road Trip LXE that shares many of the same features and specs. Its exceptionally large grilling surface is great for camping and tailgate parties, and it's still powerful enough to rival larger, freestanding barbecues. Power and heating much like Coleman Road Trip 285, the Coleman Road Trip Portable Gas Grill can deliver an impressive 20,000 BTUs of power across one elongated burner. While this is the average for large, freestanding barbecues, it's an exceptional amount of power for portable grills. But if you don't really need that much power for your outing, consider the Blackstone Tabletop Grill. The Coleman Road Trip sports a very impressive 285 square inches of cooking space. The Weber Q1200 has 100 square feet less cooking area than that, and it can still comfortably fit four medium-sized steaks and some veggies. So imagine how much the Coleman Road Trip full-size grill grates can manage. The one downside is that it's not a charcoal grill, so you're stuck with needing to buy propane tanks. While it may be lighter than the LXE, the Coleman Excursion is still one of the heftier portable grills around at 43 pounds. This means it's not going to be as easily portable as the Weber Q1000, for example. But it's not all bad. It's greatly wind resistant, and the porcelain coated cast iron grates not only distribute heat evenly, so it's not all concentrated to one side, but add to the life of the grill plates too. The side tables make for convenient areas to place your grilling tools and cooking spices. However, there's only one side table now instead of two, which seems like an odd design choice. The cast iron grates are also easier to clean thanks to the porcelain coating, and setup is as easy as sliding out the legs from underneath the grill. Of course, if there is a picnic stand or some other surface available, you can leave the grill in the collapsed position. If you'd like, you can also purchase the swap top interchangeable cooktops to allow you to switch grill grates out for griddle and stove grates. Now you will be able to simmer and sear instead of just sear, making rice dishes, stews, or boiling water for coffee, tea, or oatmeal is now infinitely easier. And for a minor bonus, you can choose whether you like it in black or blue. There is nothing like freshly grilled food, no matter where you are but packing up a full-size grill or a compact charcoal grill just isn't practical. While these types of grills can certainly get the job done, bringing them with you often takes more effort than it's worth. And who wants to lug around bags of charcoal anyway? That's where the portable grills like the Nomad IQ Portable Propane Gas Grill come in. This travel-friendly grill promises to serve up perfectly grilled food on the go with absolutely no hassle, but can it do the work? I tested it against grilling season favorites like burgers and barbecue chicken to find out. Here are my thoughts. The Nomad IQ Portable Propane Gas Grill is a compact, intuitively designed, and well-performing grill that makes it easy to barbecue on the go. It has a large surface, so you can cook for several people at once, and performance-wise, it stands up to any larger size grill with similar specs. If you're looking for a grill to take with you camping, to the beach, or even just for a smaller backyard space, this is it. PK grills are beautiful, born again pieces of classic Americana. These grills were originally manufactured in Tyler, Texas between the 1950s and 1960. In 1960, the company was sold and production moved to Little Rock, Arkansas until the company went out of business in the mid 1970s. The PK in the name stands for portable kitchen. If you are in the market for a new charcoal grill, 
and willing to pay for quality, then a PK grill has to be on your list. PK grills can be used as a great charcoal grill for world-class steaks and can put out some amazing low and slow barbecue when you use them as smokers. These grills are solidly built, will never rust, and are exactly the type of item that gets passed down from father to son. You will make memories with a PK. The body of PK grills are made of thick, cast aluminum. This material will never rust, ever. There are many PK grills in service today that were manufactured in the 1950s. These ancient classics have wobbly legs and rusted grates, but the cast aluminum bodies are rock solid. There are plenty of older portable gas grills on the market, but in my opinion, they've either been too small or inconvenient to transport. The Traveler's scissor-legged, foldable design and larger cooking surface aim to solve those issues. Weber did a great job designing a decently sized portable grill that you can take with you to places like the park, a sports tailgate, the campsite. Foldable scissor leg design, Weber designed the grill to easily fold flat for convenient storage while traveling, hence the name. Big durable wheels, traverse over obstacles like rock, mud, and grass with little effort. Grease drain system, grease drains to the bottom of the grill where it is collected in a removable metal pan. Weber makes replaceable aluminum liners for the pan. Mounted side shelf. While small, the shelf area is big enough to place a serving plate. It is part of the frame, so it is solid and sturdy. Tool hooks. Stores your tools so they don't take up valuable shelving space. Automatic latching system. There is a latch that automatically deploys when you fold and unfold the grill. When folded, it locks the hood into place so it doesn't bounce around while traveling. Everdure is an Australian grill equipment brand that was founded in 1935. In 2016, the brand partnered with Heston Blue Menthol to launch a new line of grill ranges, as well as portable grills like the Q. Blue Menthol is a British celebrity chef whose restaurants include the Fat Duck, a three-star Michelin restaurant in the UK. Unlike other portable grills that are bulky and round, the Everdure Cube is compact and lightweight. Its shape gives it a key advantage over Weber grills, as it's easier to pack into the back of a car. This portable grill features a bamboo food preparation board, a food grade storage tray, and the chrome grill rack, all of which is held together by the safety latches on either side. Inside the grill, you also find a charcoal grid and a charcoal chamber. The bottom heat shield that prevents overheating is located below the charcoal chamber. This grill is on the small side measuring 13.67 by 16.73 by 9.05 inches, so it may not be great for a large birthday or a tailgate party unless you're willing to cook burgers and hot dogs in batches. The cooking surface can accommodate about four burger patties or two pieces of standard sized ribeye steaks with space for flipping. However, as the grill can get really hot, you probably won't spend too much time on each batch. So that's all for today guys, take care.